how can you produce those these GUI spatial data and then and then store into the local system or any 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 data geospatial server systems and then you get these data files in the in geospatial data file and visualize in the google art this is the extra features and functionalities for your geospatial functionalities to visualizing uh, your data into the different 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 systems like uh, google maps or open street maps or or with the with the open layers or, or leaflets or and or, and then now is the is a google art or other 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 platforms because you producing your data what you need and after that you try to visualize it that's one so if if i if you go this a screencast complete screencast especially the number 23 and 24 24 this is covering how can you produce uh, the uh, your geospatial data and how can you visualize this data if i go to recap again this this two part and then we can we can do later i will cover all of the part how can you from very beginning level to the to the end level this is the intention for today for giving the presentation let's go what we have it existing as the existing screencast so if i go to a little bit bigger and this is the uh, little bit bigger and then we can set up no, no not subtitle uh, quality the high quality minimize subtitle so what we are doing here just we are we are in the in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the geo server admin console and then we we published all the, our geospatial database and then uh, from the post gis database and then you have all the uh, all the configurations and communication between the geo servers and then after the geo server communication is done and then you can see the visualization of this and uh, uh, directly to the open layers as a as a as a as a, as a yeah, geo server itself has a visualization in dashboard you can visualize information and then you have some on click event uh, function you can see the detailed data so that means you have geospatial database post GA database you publish as a service and then you can visualize itself in the geo server and then from here you can you can export uh, export your a KML or a GML and then open layers all the possibilities that means you connect with the GIS database you publish your services you see that in the top level there's a localhost 770 server that's I said that's a previous screencast that's many ex example how can you communicate the geo services with the different open layer libraries from open layers or, or leaflets or other google maps libraries you can simply call the services url and build your web pages and then here in this case we are trying to build uh, to export your data as a kml kml1 kml2 and 3 and then csv and kml form and you see the kml the down level and shape file itself so that means if you have a uh, a GeoJSON maybe one of the example for other cases we have examples you can look for the channels that they, how can you handle the geospatial data into the into the your your into the your channels and then uh, into the your different uh, different uh, JavaScript based frameworks like open layers and leaflets and then all the possibilities that's that we already discussed a lot about that one how can you start how can you build and this is our previous you can go to this our screencast uh, that that's why i already show you and then you can you can export things together so let's 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 go back to the the the, the final stage so so that means that we can i can go so you have produced the you can i mean that's you produce the your export your uh, you files as a geojson files and then you you can just simply copy the geojson file into the your local systems you see that your geojson file is is really properly built clearly and then all the all the your relational tables attributes or geospatial attributes is there so it had address city country number postal code reference and the road type road name and this is the really your your, your database models so here is you see the real picture of your data so you see the, all the data is, is post gis database properly stored and properly manipulated it is designed 
So that means if you have a geospatial data, maybe different content of information, so or different active columns of information, but um, then doesn't matter. But you have the geo geospatial and geometry information and KML to geometry information. It's it's okay. So that means you 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 publish your services exactly the same data that you have it. You can visualize here and then you export as a KML. After the KML, you can look for this KML properly uh, properly built or properly exported or imported. And then you you can even though it, even though you can manipulate this data, you can uh, can visualize less part of the information, and then and so on so forth. That's what I mean. So just you can manipulate the, all the information that you have it, and then so on so forth. You can design it like this way. If you have the really data in database, you don't need to manipulate. You just simply 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 uh, simply load the I simply load the GKML files and visualize the Google Earth and that's all. If you need something to manipulate or something to control, then you write down programs like some scripting program to manipulate your KML files. And, and after the manipulation of your programs uh, itself or your tools, and then you can also visualize this data, manipulated data into the Google Earth. That means it is the process. How can you import how can you export how can you generate your geospatial database visualize in different platform different tools and technologies and then and then you can you can you have a lot of possibilities for your uh, clients means you can some client says we don't use to use the google art so that means you don't need to use the uh, kml to produce the kml and build the kml functionalities to visualize the geospatial data some of some client says we need some uh, geospatial data visualization with the uh, with the open layers just do it that's we have already had it and then some client says we need the geospatial data into the into the leaflet also so if you see i have a geospatial files we already downloaded uh, generated from the geo server from our post database then we have a places and then you can load these KML files from the file systems or you have a special tools programs you can automatically load the files into the Google KML file into the Google Earth. So you see we are proper importing the Google Earth files. It's imported from here. So we just just what we generated it. And then we, we, we and then after that we we try to visualize it so we have the possibility you can edit it online and then you can have the possibility on off the, and then this is the, all the geometry that you have it so all the polygon geometry that means this is the building plots of a of your application or your of your clients the registration process that's i said this is the enterprise level application that's what we did the previous one you can look for everyone how can every part of the screencast there is a 1034 screencast you can look for that one so you see how the data is coming really designed and proper way even though you can you can manipulate this the, the column informations from this part of the information so you have all the information coming from the database and even though you have information about about your 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 kml about your geometry information the polygon geometry and it says latitude longitude all the coordinate points you see the kml to kml to to geometry so this is the data is directly coming from the geo post gis database via geo server so you published it you generate it you take the data from the geo services and 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 produce as a kml after that you 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 visualize your kml files uh, KML data or, or geospatial data into the Google Earth. That's intention. So if you don't need to, to Google Earth to use, you can also the Google Maps, you open Street Maps or, or, or Yahoo Maps or Bit Maps, depending all the possibilities uh, you have it. So, but this is the possibilities. How can you produce the data that's required Google Earth from your uh, put GIS database via the Geo Server? That's the intention for 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 the screencast. So you have the possibility for the 3D models, 2D models, and then have rotation possibility, animation possibility, all things is there. So we can also what you need and depending on the customer requirement, you can just simply set it and the focus it and something like that. Of course, we, we already have the implementation. You see the implementation. You can look for this implementation. We in the GitHub, there is a source code there available. You can manipulate this thing together to, uh, 
uh, very quickly and very efficient 